What's going on everyone? Welcome to another tutorial teaching you about AI and automation. This automation will let you launch your own Instagram Reels channel similar to this account where they basically just post stoicism quotes and have now garnered 120,000 plus followers just by posting consistently. And the cool thing is this can actually be automated now with AI and with make.com using a very simple automation like this one. So in this video, we'll go through how you can set this up within less than 10 minutes. Now to make things easier, what I've actually done is upload the blueprint to this make.com automation, which if you haven't used make.com yet, basically you can just import that blueprint. And when you click save, it will automatically create that automation for you, which saves you a ton of time. So you can find it in our community over at the classroom at the R14 lesson. And if in case you're not yet part of the community, have a look. It's a growing group of people who are keen to learn more about AI with now 240 plus members in here. And you can see we also have a lot of lessons around how to use AI, how to build automations, and really just get ahead around content creation and how to automate your work so that you can have more time, make money through these AI agents that are now available to us if you put in a bit of time to learn them. So check it out. And also, this is where you can download the make.com blueprint template that we can just upload and it's ready to load. But for educational purposes, we are going to create that automation from scratch. And there's basically three steps to it. And the very first step would be for you to create your own make.com account. So the link to this is just in the video description. And once you create your account there, you can just click on create a new scenario at the top right. And the very first module that you will set up is this one called Google Sheets. And what you would want to get from that is this search rows function. So now you would need a Google Sheet to link to this module. And that Google Sheet is basically a simple template with five columns. One is the ID that goes from one and beyond. The second column is called status, which is essentially a value between to do or done. And it will go through why that is in a bit. The third column is the actual quote. The author would be the fourth column and a caption for the Instagram or YouTube Reels post. Now, if you want to copy this template, I made it available in our community. And you can just click on file, make a copy, and that will duplicate this sheet into your own Google Drive. Now, obviously, this might not be exactly the quotes that you want because it might not be that niche that you are on anyway. So the next question is, how do we actually get these quotes if you're starting from scratch? And the simple answer is you go to ChatGPT. And then what you can do is copy the prompt in our community guide, paste that in, and just change this part of the prompt from let's say stoicism to something else entirely if you want to work on a different niche. So with that prompt, it will provide you with the Google Sheet template that we were making just now. And once that's done, you just copy in the values into your Google Sheet template. And for this illustration, we're doing 10 quotes only, but you can actually ask ChatGPT to give you, let's say 30 or even 100 quotes to create content for. So now that you have that set up, what you would want to do is connect that Google Sheets here. And if you don't have it linked to your Google Sheets yet, just click on add and it will guide you to a pop-up that will appear. You would want to find that specific spreadsheet that you just created as a template. Select the sheet, filter for those with status as to do. And for here, please watch the capitalization and it should be exactly that without spaces so that it matches the to-do status here. And you just order by row number, fill type as number, and the limit as one so that it would only provide you one row at a time. So that is step one already done. The next module that you want is Canvas module. And the specific function that you need is this export a design function. So for you to set this up, you can just head on over to canva.com, sign up for their premium free trial so that we can use the bulk create option. And then when you click create a design, you can actually choose this Instagram reel template that provides you with the correct specs already that you can work with. So here you can see I created a very simple design where I just changed the background into a beige color, which is available here. If you click on that, I added a text for the stoic quote. 
as well as the author of that specific quote and a link to our Instagram Reels account. So you can imagine this as the Instagram or YouTube shorts or Reels that will be posted. But obviously this is just one design. So now how do you create multiple designs based on our multiple quotes? And the answer is simply this bulk create option, which if you don't find it yet, you can just go to apps. And if you scroll down, you can find bulk create under more from Canva. And once you click that, you can see that it is asking you to add your data. Just click on add your data manually and then just copy all the quotes as well as the author in that sheet that was provided by Canva. So if I click on done, that will load the data there. And what you would want to do is link the specific text into the quote data feed. And the way you do that is by doing a right click, clicking on connect data, click on, on quote, and that one is linked. And then same with the author, do a right click, connect data, and click on author. So not, now that those are linked, if you hit on continue, it will now show you the 10 specific videos that it is about to create. And if you click on generate 10 designs, you can see that it now has created 10 unique content pieces for you. So these are all unique quotes and are ready to be posted to Instagram and YouTube. So once you have that done, you go back to make.com and in your Canva connection, you first want to add that connection. And again, this is just a pop-up that would appear for the folder ID. Just click on that piece and usually it will just be in your root folder unless you have a complex Canva setup. And for the design ID, find the one that was created by Bulk. And for my case, it's this Bulk 1, R14 Stoicism. And in the export format, will need to be a video. So it's MP4. And the quality will need to be vertical. And 1080p is the standard for Instagram and YouTube. Now for the pages, you would want to link it to the ID from the Google Sheets so that you get to export the correct MP4 video file. So now that will export that file. What you would want to add lastly for the setup modules will be another Google Sheets row. But for this time, you will need the update a row function. You just search for the same Google Sheets that you used last time. For me, it would be this one. The sheet would be the same, sheet one. And for the row number, what you would want to get is the row number from the very first module. Because what you would want to do is update this specific rows column status from to do to done. So type in done there. And whenever I run this, what will happen if I test it out is it is actually now getting the very first row in our Google Sheets template. It's now exporting the very first design in our bulk create tool, which is this one. And it has updated the row in Google Sheet to mark it as done. And if I open this module, and include its output, you can see that it's successful. It has data in there as well as a file URL where the MP4 file was exported to. So that means your automation is working. So now to finish off, what you would want is to add in a router because you would want to add in the two specific social media channels that you would want to post it to, which is Instagram and YouTube. So for YouTube, I just added the upload a video module and then for Instagram, head to the Instagram for business module and click on create a real post. And for this last piece, it's a simple connection and mapping of attributes. You would want to add a connection first. So you can do that and the pop-up will guide you through connecting your YouTube for the first time. This would be the title of the video, which for now I just set as the author. For the file, click on map and for the file name, it can be anything really. I just set it as the ID and then type .mp4. And then for the data, you would want the data under Canva, which is this one. You can now just select whatever is appropriate in the video category. And I'm assuming privacy status would need to be public. The description would be the caption in this case. And video made for kids, just leave it as no. And you should be done for YouTube. And for Instagram, same thing. Just add in your connection for the first time if you haven't yet. And then for this piece, I will test it out using this account. And the video URL, just link it to the one provided by Canva under the file URL. And the caption, we just get the caption from Google Sheets, the very first module there. 
You can just leave everything here as is. If you want the reels to be shared to your feed as well, you can click yes. For now, I will just leave it as no. And there you go, all done. If you click run once, what this will now do is source the next row in Google Sheets, which in this case is this number two. It is now creating that video, exporting it coming from this source file with this video, which is video number two. It has updated my row in Google Sheets, so you can see it now is marked as done. It has uploaded that video to YouTube. So if I go to my test YouTube, you can see that it has uploaded successfully. And if I go to my test Instagram, you can see also that it has uploaded successfully. So there you have it. The very last step is for you just to schedule this by turning it on here and schedule it, let's say, every hour or however many intervals that you want per day. So now what this will do, let's say you have 100 codes to upload. You basically can mass create that using Canva, leave this scenario as running on, and every single hour, your YouTube and Instagram will populate with new content even without you having to do anything. So there, I hope that helped. If you like this content, please feel free to like or subscribe. It helps us a lot. And also have a view at the other lessons that are available in our community. So check that out. All of these have blueprints that you can just upload and they're ready to go, which includes this template. See you next time. Thank you.